أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم كلمتان خفيفتان على اللسان ثقيلتان في الميزان سبحان الله وبحمده سبحان الله العظيم استغفر الله When a disaster comes, means Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is taking revenge. And that revenge includes everyone. You cannot say this, or have to be, this small group has to be saved, or that group. When Allah's order comes, takes everyone. Those who are good, they will be rewarded. Not a reward like you do one, I give you one. But you do one, I give you treasures never end. You do two, you will get more treasures. Not Allah doesn't give one by one. He's not a merchant. Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to give his servant even they don't deserve his rahmah, his mercy will encompass everyone. But when his revenge comes, those are who is in that area will be under that punishment. But they will not be thrown for, for no, nowhere they will be in, in highly rewarded. And in day of judgment, they will be the one the first to go into paradise from Ummah al-Nabi sallallahu alayhi One time Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam said, Ya Rabbi, show me your justice. You are destroying Villages, cities, was a tornado. There, they had tornado in that time also, time of Sayyidina Musa and Sayyidina Nuh. In Sayyidina Adam, tornado didn't affect anyone. There was no tornado in that time. But Sayyidina Nuh and down to Sayyidina Ibrahim, Sayyidina Musa, Sayyidina Isa, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, there are. Show me your justice. There is one unbeliever between the whole group. You destroy everyone. Now in this tornado or this hurricane or whatever they call it, there, there are good people that they have been killed or their homes are being destroyed or they lost something. But they are innocent. Allah said to Sayyidina Musa, go to that forest, Karimullah. He used to speak directly. Allah gave him that uh, tendency to speak with him with no hijab. To speak what he cannot see. Only words coming to him, heavenly words. When he said, Rabbi Arini Andur Ilaik, O Allah, when he felt that he's so close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah loves him, so he, he went far, let me see you. In Holy Quran. And what happened? Allah said, no, no, Lantarani, you cannot see me. No way. Like us. We are asking, same Sayyidina Musa asking. But, no, 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 you cannot. Allah felt, Allah saw that sadness in, his, in Musa's heart. And he loves him. He want to give him some tamanina. What's tamanina? 
peacefulness, to feel good and safe. He said, okay, okay, don't worry, look at the mountain. If the mountain stays in its, in its place, you will see me. At that moment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent from his beautiful names and attributes, manifestation on Sayyid on, on the mountain, and the mountain was not able to carry that, completely went into powder, destroyed. So he cannot see. Those who, that hurricane that came, you think that that hurricane is going, uh, turning, and turning, and turning by itself? <coughs> That's craziness. Because Allah mentioned in the Holy Quran in many places about the wind. And even he gave, he gave Sayyidina Sulaiman power on the wind to move it as the way he likes. See that? So that, that tail and that eye and that, that they were showing and, uh, everywhere is, is uh, by itself turning? No. And who is turning it? If we think a little bit, we see that cannot be turned by itself. When Sayyidina Musa asked to see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah said, no way. Why? Because, Ya Musa, this is not your, uh, I didn't promise you to, to give you that. That's for my Prophet, Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa That to see me is for Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa not for any other Prophet. So you cannot step on something that belongs to Prophet. Be, ha, have respect to what I gave Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad وسلم, and what I gave to you. You will be happy with what I gave you and others will be happy what Allah gave to Prophet. And uh, in any case, you and your Ummah in the Day of Judgment, you are going to go ask Prophet Shafa'ah. That's for him. Or else Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala would have taken that veil and he will see Sayyidina Musa cannot, can, but he didn't, because it's for Sayyidina Muhammad People will be mistaken if they think that was for Sayyidina Musa. No one can step where Prophet stepped. When he reached Taqaba Qawsayni Aw Adna, that is an ocean, ocean of realities, that treasures that no one knows, only I can smell, but no one knows the reality of that. So that tail, what is what that tail is carrying? You want to de destroy a building, in the old time they, you bring these axes and hitting, hitting, hitting to break it. Now they will doze it. We say bulldozer, they take it. It disappear. Allah is showing them when my revenge come, I will not leave the, uh, anything alive or dead. I destroy everything. And if you look at that tail and that eye, eye, do you call it? Eye. 
अध्याय ग्रैंड शेख में अल्लाह ब्लेस इज सोल सेट दैट हरिकेन्स एंड साइक्लोन्स वट एवर इज अंदर अल्लाह सुबहान तर्दर दिस आर तिन जिन ए ग्रुप ऑफ जिन दे आर मूविंग बिकॉज दे मूव earth and they go beyond earth to the limit of first uh, sama first sky. sky they can move in that area that region and they move from one place to another order being came to them move for revenge they can move for revenge they can move for happiness move for revenge but if you look how they were moving you would be amazed as people they are moving in tawaf around kaaba that cyclone that hurricane was moving in the same way anti clockwise around the eye so what is in that eye we don't know allah allah knows and allah gave the knowledge to prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and prophet gave to awliya allah what they need not more that eye even around it it looks not like circle it looks like square is not and when we make tawaf on in makka we do around the square, square around baytullah that a sign that baytullah even jinn has to make tawaf with a revenge or without a revenge but that was a revenge but not a it's a warning for more that will go going to come what is going to come it's going to be something beyond our imagination of uh, destruction destruction like like abraha when he came to do to makkah to destroy what to destroy kaaba astaghfirullah azim wa tawni and allah sent on them what these birds they came from bahr al ahmar red sea they came from that area to uh, makka flying and it is a distance of 80 kilometers or 100 kilometers they were flying and imam suyuti said they were according to the ayah to the surah and the ayah of alam tara kayfa fa'ala rabbuka wa ashabul fil alam yaj'al kaydahum fi dhadil wa arsala alayhim tayran ababil he sent on them tayran birds tayran ababil tarmihim bi hijaratin min sijil faj'alna faj'alna asfan asfan ma'kula that they were carrying these rocks pebbles from hellfire these rocks small rocks in their clothes they were carrying them and in their beak everyone is carrying one one in the legs and one in the and the mouth 
and they were throwing them pebbles from hellfire and throwing them on the soldier and the army of Abra. ألم تر كيف فعل ربك بأصحاب الفيل ألم يجعل كيدهم في تضليل وأرسل عليهم طير نبابيل ترميهم بحجارة من سجيل جعلهم كعصف مأكول They destroy the people the human beings but they don't destroy the what is built so they were able to these birds sent the rocks, the pebbles, on these unbelievers and hitting them according to, the, to their names. And they don't miss one name. And they know, every bird know which, what is the name of the target, his target. More intelligent than rockets of today. They call it, what they call it, guided missiles. Is garbage bit on front of these birds. 1400 years ago, birds coming with rocks, pebbles, and turning Imam Suyuti in the explanation of this surah, he said, you can see they were red. He didn't, in his time there was no, uh, uh, what you call, bullet, there was no bullet. But he said it is turning, turning, and from it it was red light coming. And hitting the person that is his name written on that pebble. <coughs> so this ta'ifa min al jinn, when we said many times that Allah opened, Grand Sheikh Allah bless him, he said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opened for the devils that they are the most powerful between jinn, but they are not believers. They were imprisoned between earth and first uh, sky, under. But by time Allah opened a hole for them, they were able to come on earth and that's what you are seeing they teach how people to kill each other so awliyaullah are waiting for something to happen that is going to affect everyone so in that tale all these devils were inside. They move in groups, millions of them in one group. That's why if you go to a uh, desert sometimes driving, you see that there are wind. When there is wind, they, you, they, you, the, the sand is turning and moving up, turning and moving up. I'm taking everything with it because they are moving from one place to another place, this makhlukat, this cre creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that destroy, if the order is to come to destroy, or they leave if the order, but they go move to, from one place to another. That's I, the, is the, Commander, where the devils running that this group of jinn devils uh, uh, to their targets, that eye they are sitting in that eye, and you see it in a square, and they are moving with it by Allah's order, Subhanahu wa Taala, to show everyone that. I will take revenge the way I like, not the way you like. Your missile is nothing. 
إذا زلزلت الأرض زلزالها وأخرجت الأرض أثقالها When Allah ordered the earth to shake and earthquake happens and this is a shaking warning Allah warning his uh, servant to say that there will be coming a time that this whole earth is going to shake and big earthquake everywhere. Now focus of those who are knows who knows the meaning of Holy Quran, they will understand what I am saying. It is from Maulana's permission to speak on this issue because people has to be ready. To be ready for those days is simply to keep your prayers first. Your five prayers, you keep them, don't lose them. That's your safety, your ticket to paradise. Another safety, another way is what Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi said, Allah likes his servant to praise him. You cannot praise anyone according to Sharia, and and Hakika, both Sharia and Sharia plus Hakika. There is two, two, two way, two ways. One way is Sharia. You follow. You go straight forward to paradise. Then you have Sharia plus Askiyat al Nafs. You will be double power if you braced yourself in your life to be someone who guides people to their destinies and to help Muslim everywhere, those are being given reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if they follow Sharia, of course they have to follow Sharia, they will be in safety. The others following Sharia and Tazkiyatul Nafs, they will, their power will be doubled. What Prophet said, to recite one verse, of praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Subhanallah wa bihamdi, subhanallah al azim astaghfirullah. You say that, your day is clean. Whatever you have done of sins in 24 hours, it's clean. This is how we have to look into the matter. And this tornado came warning people to bring them back to understand that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at any moment he can make an earthquake. Right? Some earthquake are 8, 7.8. So what will happen? Done. Huh? Done. Is done. Some six not done. And less and less it came and shake and go. Or the other one it will destroy everything. Who is the earth? Who is the, the ground, the soil? Ground. Uh, Earth, earth, what in English is what? Earth. earth. Earth, who is the earth? Is your body, is your human being. When Allah will shake you against what you have done and have you have arrogance and pride, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will shake us 
and wants to bring us back quickly as soon as possible before that earthquake within your system will break you into pieces. Not physical, uh, it is more spiritual. So we have to return back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and ask his forgiveness. So that I, if you are inside it, means like a square or a circle. If you are inside, they said there is, you don't feel anything. It's calm, very calm. If you are inside that eye, if you are outside in the any part of the tail, from the eye outside of the eye to the end of the tail is dangerous. Means anything external, dunya wise, going to lead you to this destruction, from, because you are in the tail. But those who are in the eye, if Allah gives them permission, they can comment on the inside and they make it safe for everyone to enter. First, Ummatul Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This earth is going to shake. And we are going to shake. But if it is point one, you don't feel it even. But don't go up to point to eight or seven or nine, then it will be complete destruction. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. And uh, save us from what is coming. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opened his paradises for those who are happy to pray their prayers. So Allah gave us something that save us. Even salawat, one salawat on Prophet. One time in your life is able to change your sins into hasanat. Nothing will be left from uh, sayyat completely. Look, power of Prophet that Allah gave him the shafa. One salawat. And if that abd doesn't, didn't have salawat in all his life, no salawat, will Prophet at that moment will make salawat on his behalf. Because it's the ayah, it's, it's there. وَلَوْ أَنَّهُمْ اِدْظَلَمُوا أَنفُسَهُمْ جَاءُوكَ فَاسْتَغْفَرُوا اللَّهُ وَاسْتَغْفَرَ لَهُمْ الرَّسُولِ when they are oppressor to themselves, they come to you, Ya Muhammad, asking forgiveness, and you do istighfar to them, Allah will forgive them. So all your sayyat will be gone. May Allah take our sayyat away and fill us with hasanat without running and tiring. Ya Rabbi, we are weak servant. We cannot do anything. We want his rahma. Wa min Allah hi tawfiq bi hurmat al habib bi hurmat al fatih. Mashallah. 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 Mashallah.